Definitely a tough day. It's quite quiet here in Carlisle. He was a hometown hero, played on the football field right behind me, leaving behind quite the legacy. And today was very evident how much he was loved at that funeral in Bisco. Music. And people filled this small Bisco church. He touched so many people. As memories of 32-year-old Mitch Petrus linger in the hearts of many. He was just fantastic. He was a great person to know. You were going to have a memory when you were with him. He would sometimes stay out past his curfew. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tuesday dozen said their final goodbyes to the friend, family man, and football player at his funeral service. We're, we're just going to come come together. Uh, as a team, as you see, we came down from a lot of Little Rock just to be a part of this to show our respect. The former businessman represented by this, a line of wreckers a mile long with lights on from all over the state, all outside of the service to honor him. He touched so many people. I mean, his, his ripples are going to go way further. He will definitely not be forgotten here in his hometown of Carlisle. We've actually been told his family is working on setting up a scholarship fund in his name. We have more information on that on our website, fox16.com. Live from Mitch's hometown of Carlisle, I'm Hillary Hunt. Let's send it back to you. All right, Hillary, thank you very much. Meanwhile, hundreds also gathered this past Sunday at Carlisle High School to honor Petrus. His family celebrating his life and the legacy he left behind. Speakers included coaches, former teammates, co-workers, and childhood friends, all trying to capture just a piece of the 32-year-old's larger-than-life personality.